This is Jenkins Falls. Good afternoon, everybody. Brian Jenkins again with Jenkins Farms. Carrying on our series about careers in agriculture. Today I'm with Trey Kiley from Greenpoint Ag. I would tell you his job title, but it's too long for me to remember. So I'll let Trey introduce himself and we'll kind of get going and see how he ended up where he's at today. So Trey, take it away. All right, thanks, Ryan. I'm Trey Kiley with Greenpoint Ag. I'm the regional manager for Ag Technology. So I cover everything ag tech related uh, to our retail business and I go from Texas all the way to Florida and <clears throat> cover basically the Gulf Coast region of our area. And uh, I guess a little bit about me, I grew up in Montevallo, Alabama, which is 45 minutes south of Birmingham, a, a rural town there. And uh, was, both my parents were teachers in the local school system. And Bless I, your heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so everybody had to watch on me when yep. I was growing up, but that's a good thing. But uh, I really enjoyed growing up there, and uh, my parents were very people-oriented and teaching-oriented, so immediately going into my career, I knew I wanted something down that route where mm -hmm. I could really help people, and uh, that's what I feel like I'm able to do in my current role and, and do that to a degree where it may really makes an impact. Right. That's kind of what makes me tick in my everyday job. How did you kind of end up going down the ag pathway? Yep, so I was about... 14 when I started working for Smith Farms there in Montevallo and uh, worked helping with the row crop operation for probably three or four years and then me and my buddy Zach Smith actually went off and started our own division of that farm, Smith Farms Produce. Really? And so we ran wholesale produce uh, to the Birmingham market <coughs> and then uh, sold retail farmer outlets uh, from Birmingham to Montevallo. So. You know, I forgot, I think you told me a little bit about that. Was it, was it a success right from the very beginning? No, it, was, it took a little working into it, but once we got the buyers lined up and worked the kinks out, and I quit running over the crop rows, you know, it, we got it going. So. Absolutely. So what kind of uh, degrees do you have? I have a, a bachelor's from Auburn in biosystems engineering and then a master's in agricultural engineering from Ohio State. So, biosystems engineering, what is that? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? That, that is basically Auburn's term for agricultural engineering. It includes environmental engineering, um, off road vehicle engineering, precision agriculture, and uh, more of the biotech side of things, too. So, it, it's a very diverse degree, but uh, in that, I was able to see a variety of fields as well, and then chose precision agriculture as my career path from that. So when so day one going to college, did you know what you wanted to do, or you just felt like you needed to go to college and figure it out, or kind of how how did you end up where you are now? I guess you'd say. I mean, I yeah. know it started with a with the falling in love with farming, you know, helping the guys farm there while you were in high school. But after that, you know, kind of how did you end up to this exact point? Yeah. Uh, when I was probably 16 or 17, I, I, like I said, I knew I loved farming and I knew I loved being outdoors and working with my hands and I also liked math and science as the subjects that I kind of leaned towards. So I was trying to come up with what's the best way I can put all of those together and I looked up the biosystems engineering department and said oh, maybe this off-road machinery or precision agriculture would be a fit. And so I really just had researched that over time, kind of looking at my interests and, and seeing what fits me as a person and what I enjoy working with. And then what can I really provide to my family with? What's a career that you know, would be, uh, be valuable in, in that aspect of things? So I kind of took that initial stab and found the, the program there and then loved it and, and followed one of my professors there to Ohio State who is kind of world renowned for precision agriculture. And I knew that I really wanted to dive into this thing. So I, I took the time and took a couple of years in Ohio to, to really dive into the details and get as much exposure to, to companies and, and practices and learn as much as I could. What would you say the job outlook for, I well, I guess the problem we might need, to, I mean, we take for granted that everybody knows what we're talking about 
but we're farmers and we know what each other are talking about. But precision agriculture, just give a real quick, what does that mean, you know, to somebody that doesn't know anything at all, never been yeah. on a farm, never seen a tractor or anything? Yeah. You know, kind of the short and sweet, what's precision agriculture mean to you? I would say to me, you know, and we, if you look at the technology, the suite of technologies that I work with today, ultimately we're decision aids for farmers and we're coming up with the best technologies available in the market, kind of synthesizing that down into something that provides true value. So whether that be grid soil sampling where you have savings on fertility and lime or maybe we start to look at some profitability analysis uh, or you know we have sensors that we work with in the season to help with crop decisions. So, so really we're partnering with our growers to, to make them as efficient as possible and to help them make decisions on the farm. Uh, and what the outlook for this uh, this type of occupation for the future, what would you say? I know what I would say, but what would you say? Yeah, I would say it's very promising. And there's there's so many different ways you can take a spin on the degree I had, but also the type of field I'm in. And there's starting to be efforts not only into like row crop precision agriculture, but there's some precision livestock farming that's starting to become trends with sensors and, and cattle management and softwares involved with that. There's a whole nother piece with what I would say is like data management and farm operating software. And then of course all, all the major ag companies also have specialists related around technology to help the companies and their growers. Uh, so it's very promising and, and every day it seems to be more and more uh, driving towards that point of, of not only just agriculture and then technology, but really combining the two with agronomy to make sound decisions. So if somebody wanted to, uh pursue a career kind of, kind of along the lines that you're doing, you know. I think that anything with technology in the title dealing with agriculture, if you don't know what you want to do, you know you want to be hands-on, you know you might want to be outside some, you might want to do something with agriculture. I think if you find anything that has technology in the title right now, that would be an awesome way to go. I mean, that's, I know for our operation, Technology is the only way that we're going to be able to succeed. Um, it's, it's just as simple as that. You, you use it in everything you do. Um, what, what, uh, so if somebody's going to go to college, you know what, if they want to do what you're doing, what would they sign up for? Well, I was in the Ag Engineering program, and, uh, but there's also now degrees that combine the Ag Technologies and Agronomy, so there's kind of a hybrid degree. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, I think recently there's now a transfer process you can do to take a technology specialization at community college and then transfer it to Auburn to finish it off. Uh, so there's multiple options there and, you know, I would say after I went through school I had friends working in, in the poultry industry and the manufacturing of poultry equipment and uh, poultry houses on the technology there. A lot of environmental uh, pieces there, folks working for, you know, riprap and control systems for other companies. And so that, that is an area that you can become, uh, like when we talk about adding someone on our team, we talk about uh, width and depth, you know, mm -hmm. being able to know a wide range of topics and then being able to specialize and go deep on a lot of topics. So with that type of degree where you can be flexible and uh, understand fully, like for me and you working together, if I fully understand your situation, but then I can dive into the details and help you out on certain pieces, that's really what I think the um, employee of the future looks like. You know, right. Before we've been into, okay, I'm a, I'm a welder, I'm a you know, painter, and there's nothing wrong with that, those are great careers. But to the ability to adapt and have both wide and deep knowledge, I right. think is where people are really going to get the most benefit mm -hmm. from. If I'm looking at you know, where I'd want to set myself up, if I go back and do it again, or even as I try to continue through my career starting today. I know it's kind of a uh, <coughs> broad question because you're, you're covering a wide, wide range of jobs and occupations. Um, what kind of salary outlook? I mean, you know, what what would be a beginning type salary straight out of school for 
you know, a job in precision agriculture, I guess. Yeah, I think it depends on the company and your specialization. Um, like I said, with the depth and really fully understanding things, there's guys that are making close to 100000 and then, you know, entry level starting, you know, between 30 and 100 anywhere in between. Right. Um, but there, there really is good value, and companies across the country are starting to see that and to hire good employees, so opportunities are there. So getting to here, did, did uh, I know several other people that we've interviewed seems to be kind of a common theme, talking about doors opening along the way. I mean, it was because they were doing something <coughs> to begin with, but several of them have talked about doors opening just from just from attending school. You know, the yeah. teacher sees something special in them or whatever, says, hey, you might want to go yeah. check this job out or this person needs an intern or whatever. Did you have any... Have you yeah. kind of had anything happen like that along your journey? or? Yeah, I would say, you know, my life is where I am today because of those key people in my life. You know, I, I look at, you know, my dad first and foremost and training me to be a man of integrity and to work hard. And I look at Paul Smith, the owner of Smith Farms, I started the produce business with. And, you know, he really ingrained in me the, the daily grind of getting after it and, and working hard. And uh, then... John Fulton would be the next one who was my advisor for my master's degree. Mm -hmm. uh, he really drove me to, you know, making clear decisions and working through processes and, and thinking about where you want to go uh, the next step forward as, as you're working today. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so many other people have touched me along the way, but, uh, you know, you can always point back to certain things and say, oh, yeah, you know, so-and-so used to tell me that and now looking back I can actually see how that benefited me. Um, so it, it really is all about the connections and then you em embracing the best parts of those people and making it uh, how you would like to, to conduct your life. Anything else you'd like to tell them? Just get after it and see what happens kind of? Yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah. you got to start somewhere basically Yeah. and uh, get going from there. Well. Trey, the part I didn't tell you is Trey helps us a lot on our farm. We do a lot of stuff using uh, precision ag technologies that, that are out there. And Trey learns them, brings them, and uh, we try to apply them here. And uh, we're greatly appreciative for, for what he brings to the table. So, Trey, thank you for thank doing you. this interview with us. Yeah. Good luck. Thank, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it.